so excited for this. I've been waiting to do this for a little bit and I found the perfect time to do it. We're going to test out Halo hair extensions from Amazon. I got a cheaper version and a little bit more expensive version. So in the box, Andre actually goes, in the box, the most expensive, in the little baggie, that's the cheap ones. <laughs> he was right. So in the box, this is by the brand Goo Goo, and this is their 100% human hair extensions. I paid $81.99. I got the 18 inch weft and in the shade light blonde. This, it actually has really pretty good reviews. Four stars, 2,300 reviews. And a lot of people are saying they actually really like these for quick, easy, convenient, and actually really comfortable. So let's open up this one right here. So this one right here is by the brand Sarla, and this is their Dirty Blonde Hair Extensions for Halo, and $9.99. And I also picked up the 18 inch. And these are synthetic. This is not real hair or Remy hair. But this one already is styled. In the color, it's a little bit warmer, but there's not as much dimension happening here. And you can feel a difference right away between the two. This one is definitely a lot softer. It feels like hair. This one definitely feels very synthetic. It feels like something you would find on a doll or whatever. Not, not real. And it feels very, because it's very stretchy, it feels plasticky, but it feels pretty good. I'm actually kind of impressed with how this one actually feels. So I figured, you know what? We'll put one to one on my head. We'll curl them, style them with my hair. We'll see which ones are more comfortable, which ones are more inconspicuous, things like that. All right, so what you do is... This is the cheaper one. We're gonna go with the cheaper one first. Just place it where you're gonna want it to sit. Just tighten it, I think. You need a little comb with a little pick at the end, or just something that you'll be able to basically just take your hair and bring it over. Let's say this is the only part right here where you can kind of see the extensions. I mean, these are definitely not secure by any means. And this thing keeps sticking out. Like I don't feel as comfortable with these in my head because I feel like they're just gonna go flying. But wow, this is very, very long. But look at this, you can see a tiny little bit right there, but because it's basically transparent, it just kind of looks like my part, you know? You can't really see it. That's the whole thing. It's very inconspicuous. From my experience with just regular clip-in extensions, the best way to blend and make sure everything looks cohesive is to style them after the extensions are in or on your head already. That way you can really see where you need to go in and fix certain things or certain parts of your hair. I'm not gonna do as many sections just because I don't wanna go up too high because most of the length is right here. Wow, I'm not used to such a long hair. Like, who are you? You know? Ooh, 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 this is not styling good at all. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the synthetic extensions are not styling. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the more expensive ones in because I feel like I might have an easier time blending these in just because it's real hair or they're advertising this as real hair. Yeah, these ones feel a little bit better just because they're not there's not as much hair versus the synthetic. So it feels a little bit lighter on my head. And I feel like these might not go anywhere, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna clip them in, I'm just gonna style them. But let's see this before styling. At least that's curling. But I feel like this is not gonna be a good look for me <laughs> because my hair is so much shorter. You can really see that line. I would definitely personally go for a 16 inch, even get their 14 inch. But I do like how incon inconspicuous they are. Because the one thing with real or just clipping extensions, they usually go up to here to get most of that volume. And the thing is, it looks so bulky if you don't have hair up here like myself. <laughs> We're observing very interesting things. Mm -hmm. Something you don't you don't think about like how's it gonna eat, for instance. 
Well, you do think about that. It's just some synthetic, like the more expensive synthetic hair extensions, they will heat a little bit better than the ones I tried here. But you do have to kind of clip them in place and really give them time to cool off because with real hair, you don't really have to wait as long to cool them off. But with synthetic hair, you really wanna give them time to really cool and set. That's why I do prefer real hair extensions versus synthetic. I feel like they're a little bit easier, but synthetic does, the style does last a little bit longer. I don't know if I would enjoy having such long extensions because I'm just so used to shorter hair. I haven't had long hair since I was like in high school. So having this much extra hair, I'm like just stressing about doing my hair in the future. <laughs> I think I would definitely wanna try once in my lifetime, like the hand-tied hair extensions, the ones that you have basically permanently in your hair until you take them out or you have to move them back up. I think I would like that, but just not super, super long. Just to see, you know, the process, the experience, taking care of them. Do I actually enjoy this? Why do people get such long hair extensions, you know? I just have that curiosity in my head. I feel like that'll be a really fun video to do. And you do need to brush this out in my opinion. But I'm just impressed that they look pretty good with the color. Like that was the one thing, like dang, that actually looks pretty dang good. The way that I would do this at home and only do this at home if you're comfortable, or just take these to your hair stylist and literally have them put it in your hair, style it, and then have them trim it just because you can really see what it looks like. If you're gonna wear the extensions curly, I would style them straight and curly or wavy because sometimes you just wanna wear them with straight hair, you know? But the way I would do this at home would, like I said, following my natural hair, cut it, especially right here, to give it kind of like more of an elongated front layers, and then towards the back, following this natural hair length that I have, cutting some, some layers throughout the extensions because that way it will blend so much better and keeping that length. I would definitely cut at least one inch off just because my natural hair where it ends, it's not, it's not layered as much as I would want it to be to look really good with these types of extensions because they're very full towards the bottom, my natural hair length. But honestly, this doesn't look that bad. You can kind of see their extensions, but the color, that's what's really impressing me is the color. All right, I'm actually really impressed that I was able to style this hair and it's looking pretty dang good with the way I want it to look. I'm actually really impressed how easy and fast this was, fast. <laughs> fast in terms of just literally placing it into your hair. And yeah, you can't really, you can't really see it. You can't really feel it. The only thing I'm feeling is the end right here. Well, actually both ends, I'm feeling them right here, but they're not pulling, they're not tight. I'm just literally feeling something behind my ears. That's the only thing I'm feeling. But otherwise, like I said, I'm very impressed with the color. So far, the quality and how easy, convenient. The only thing that really took time was styling the hair. But the thing is, once these are styled, you just kind of have to do touch-ups with your natural hair or the hair extensions to make sure if it's enough wave, if it's enough curl, things like that. But I'll just keep saying it, the color is kind of blow my mind that it looks pretty close to my natural hair color. And then like I said, very easy to take out. You just kind of dig your nail, or if you don't have nails, just go back to your tool. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I feel so free. <laughs> no, I, I see the, I mean, extensions are very fun, but this is what they will look like basically until I give them a good wash. Just hang them up, you know, until they're ready to use and she's good to go. So I would say with the synthetic, you can definitely make them work, but just the styling wise, especially these cheaper ones are a little bit harder to style. Like this one literally does not even want to curl, it just went straight. Another thing is they don't feel as nice and a lot of it is just shedding. For some reason, the real ones, they weren't shedding and these ones just keep shedding and it feels, there's like always something on your arms. 
but they definitely, these are definitely thicker in comparison to these ones right here, the ones that are $82. But I feel like I enjoyed these ones quite a lot because they're, you could barely feel them on your head because it's not heavy at all. These ones you can definitely feel a lot more and I feel like I have to be a little bit more cautious of what I'm looking at and what I'm doing, you know what I mean? You can tighten these right here and I believe you can with these. I'm not sure if you can, but you also have this extra secure these little clips right here. They're not clips, they're more of like fasteners in a way. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. I think this is a really great option for very quick hair extensions for something that's very convenient. You just literally place it on your head. They're very inconspicuous. If you're the type of person that likes longer hair, likes the convenience of hair extensions, but just those clip-in hair extensions, they're always so tedious, especially if you have my type of a hair it's very fine, you don't have as much hair. And the thing is, you can't really place as much hair extensions right up here just because you can kind of see them. There's not much hair to hide those hair extensions. I think this is the better option for finer hair. And it's definitely, I would say, a lot more comfortable. It's not as secure, but I think this is definitely for those times, for like dinner, for an event, so that you wanna wear your hair down, you wanna look, you know, you wanna feel fabulous with the, with beautiful head of hair, you know Glorious. what I mean? Glorious. Glorious, yes. But yeah, definitely I would say either go for the professional custom halo hair extensions or get something like this from Amazon. I would definitely recommend these ones right here. I think the color is far better. I think they blend it in a little bit better. But just like with this, you do have to trim them. Or if you don't, just go for a shorter section like i said these are both 18 inches which is a lot of hair but all right you guys this was so much fun i'm really happy i got to test both of these out and really see the styling the process how easy how hard how convenient things like that but i'm really actually impressed like i i'm, I'm kind of shocked at how good these ones did especially with the color i think this color also looks good but i feel like this one looks a little bit better because there's a little bit more dimension happening because my natural hair Color is very, very, there's a lot of dimension. So yeah, very impressed. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one very soon.